All right, so this is our basic kinetic energy equation. We've got um, Ke, or kinetic energy, which is in joules. Our unit here is joules. Is going to be equal to our mass times our velocity squared divided by 2, which is the same thing as saying 1 half times mass times velocity squared. For me, it's just a little bit easier to... Um, write it in this way and to remember what I'm doing in this way um, you can just as easily do mass times velocity squared and then uh, multiply by 0.5 either way you should get the exact same answer so let's do a practice problem where we're just plugging some numbers in making sure that you can um, read your problems properly here So a 2.3 kilogram bird is flying at 1.7 meters per second. What is its kinetic energy? Really, really simple. Two variables to work with here. So as we read a 2.3 kilogram bird, so we know that that's our mass, is flying at 1.7 meters per second. We know that that's our velocity. And then ultimately we're looking for kinetic energy. So what we have to do here all we have to do is just plug it in, uh, plug in our mass, 2.3 kilograms, plug in our velocity, 1.7 meters per second. Don't forget to square it. People always forget to square. Uh, that's really, really important. And when you take those numbers, you've got 2.3 times 1.7 squared. You get 6.647. Divide that by 2 for the last step. And you end up with 3.3 total joules of kinetic energy. What that means is that uh, that is how much energy it takes to fly that bird at that speed. If you were to have a heavier bird, it would be uh, more kinetic energy flying at the same speed. If you took that same bird and slowed it down, it would be less kinetic energy. If you sped it up, it would be more kinetic energy.